It's been a little over a year since you launched the America's Diner um, positioning. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that. How did that resonate and what's been happening over the last year? We've had a lot of fun with it, both on traditional advertising and also within social media space. And it's resonating with consumers really well. Mm -hmm. So you know our sales have been up for the last two quarters in an environment where our competition is actually have, is really struggling. And it, it, we're still in a very bad recessionary period. So uh, we're feeling good about that. We're feeling good about the way consumers are remembering it. Uh, we've got about 60 plus percent awareness of the, um, of the end line right now. So it feels like it's actually relevant and, and resonating. At the same time that you're trying to appeal to that core um, target consumer, I'm sure you're trying to expand your, your, um, you know, your awareness among other consumers as well. Talk a little bit about the techniques you've used. Um, you know, certainly you've done you've done campaigns, you've done movie tie-ins, you've done um, promotion, you know, short-term promotions. What is the value in those sorts of techniques? The we we have. Um, a, a challenge in that we appeal across all demographics, we appeal across all age groups, all ethnicities, and we have four major day parts to support. Breakfast is very big for us, late night is big for us, and in diner, at lunch and dinner are, are two other key day parts that we are expanding right now. So. You've got, a, you've got multiple day parts and multiple demographics. So it ha you have to promote on, in terms of values. At the same time, recognizing that we've got three very, very key groups. Um, one is um, our seniors, and we have the uh, AARP partnership, which has done tremendously well for us. Um, we have our families, and in particular, our Hispanic families. Mm -hmm. So people that just want to come in and be with their family, their friends, and, and reconnect. Um, that's a very key group for us. And so that's where an Arthur Christmas would play in. That's where a lot of our LTOs, our limited time offers, would play in. And then we've got the next generation of, of Denny's lovers, which are the, the millennials. And so we've very much focused on social media with the millennials, doing things, innovating in that space, um, doing things in a way or expressing the brand positioning and DNA in a way that we think gets through to that generation of, of, of kids and, and how they're consuming media. Can you give some examples of how you've leveraged social media? When we launched the brand last January, we partnered with a production company called Dum Dum. And the idea was to really do some unfettered uh, conversations that, that, that take place in a diner. Our whole campaign was about how people feel so relaxed in a diner that they'll even talk to strangers. If you think about all the famous movies over the years, they've all featured, uh, that have featured diners, they've all featured conversations happening between booths and strangers. So we wanted to have some fun with that. We got David Kutchner as the host, and, um, and uh, Will uh, Arnett and Jason Bateman, who own Dum Dum, brought in some great um, friends of theirs, Amy Poehler, Kristen Bell, um, and Sarah Silverman, to name a few. And, and David Kutchner just had conversations with them, and some of them, were uh, probably more R-rated conversations than, than others, as you can imagine, but we just let it run. And they were a lot of fun. They clearly loved our food. They clearly enjoyed doing it. And the, um, the webisodes that came out of that, two, three minute versions, we posted just on our website and on College Humor, and they just took off. So we were, we were amazed at the number of views that we've had over the years, uh, over the years, sorry. And, um, and, it's, and it's great. It's just about providing content and entertaining people. And we didn't push the brand in. It just was there organically. So how are you able to really measure um, what you're doing and make sure that it's working? Uh, a great question, Jenny. We have um, uh, partnered with a company called Applied to Predictive Technology which takes the whole notion of a test and control uh, and, and puts, a, puts a completely new spin on it. So we can pinpoint exactly, if we're testing products in 10 stores, 
we can we can match those to ten control control stores that are um, that that are similar in every single aspect of their DNA, and and predict exactly what the impact is of the promotion or the um, new service model or the new store look. So it's, it's an, an amazing piece of uh, software that allows us to just get smarter and smarter and enables us to read the results accurately, react, adjust the plan, and, um, and refine it.